Hi everybody, today I will be using some Miss Ink Stamps products to create an easy masked design. So if you use this design and this technique, you could absolutely easily create a one layer card. In the end, I decided to add a bit of dimension with my sentiment, but you could absolutely keep this one layer. So I'm going to be using the Fall Bouquet stamp set. And this stamp set has the ability to add the stems onto the bottom of this gorgeous floral bouquet. So you could have a full bouquet with a stem. I'm going to be using it without the stem today. So I've lined this up in my stamping platform. So it's hanging off the bottom right edge. And I stamped that in a Copic Safe Ink. And then I just flipped my cardstock piece 180 degrees and so I would have the image stamped in the same place in the top left corner and the bottom right corner of my card base. Now I'm just going to bring in some Copic markers and I'm going to color this. I'm using shades of yellow, orange, and red and just a little bit of warm gray as well for the little, um, the little puffy flowers there. I'm not sure, I'm not a botanist. I never really enjoyed botany so I'm not sure of the technical names of these uh, flowers and such. But I think it would be really cool, the area of the bouquet that I'm coloring now, which I believe are the maple leaf backgrounds, you could de definitely, I think, color these with green ink. And through creative shading, I think you could disguise the fact that this is a maple leaf in the backgrounds and change this fall bouquet around for spring colors. So here's where I'm going in with a little bit of dark red on this larger flower. I am using R39 and R29. This is a little bit more of a maroon or a dark red than I usually go for, but because this is an autumn card, I didn't want to use the bright cherry red. I thought I would kind of use the more brown red color. And all I do is I just add with the darker color, in this case R39, I add a little line of shading where I think there should be some shadow. And then I'll blend it out with the lighter color. So for this, it's R29. And then I'll just repeat the process. I colored both of the arrangements from the Fall Bouquet stamp set the same way, so that it would be almost like a mirror image of each other. And then I stamped that bouquet image onto some masking paper. And I'm going to trim around this with my scissors. Now these little puffy bits that I'm coloring here, they were the only part that kind of, I wouldn't even say they gave me trouble, but they were a little bit tricky. So for the stems, I just didn't go right up to the black line like I'm going for the other places. And honestly, I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell that there's a little bit of extra space around the stems. But for everything else I'm coloring or cutting right up to the black line, and I cut one out completely, and then for the second one, I kind of wised up and realized that I only need the top half of the bouquet, and so I left the rest of the masking place intact. And if I end up needing it in the future, I can always just go back in and cut exactly up to the black line edge of this stamp. I'm going to just kind of let the excess masking paper tack this card base onto my work surface. And then I'm going to grab the leafy green stencil and I will tape that on to my work surface as well. I'm just going to use some masking tape. Usually I use some pixie spray or something, but because I'm just um, going in with some easy ink blending, I didn't think I really needed to excessively tack this down today. I'm going to go in with a light brown shade. This is like a like a light earth brown color and I'm going to go all over and the masks that are covering up those fall bouquet stamps are going to not allow the ink to get into that portion. So as I stencil you're going to see that the stencil design only shows up in the middle even though right now it looks like it's kind of getting onto the bouquet there. And now this is the magical part as I peel back these masks you can see how clean and crisp that Copic coloring is against the stencil in the middle of the card. Isn't that so, so pretty? So here's where you can definitely just finish off this card by stamping a sentiment in the middle. But I thought that I would add just a little bit of dimension. So I stamped in white heat embossed a sentiment from the fall bouquet stamp set into the center of a, um, a brown stitched circle cardstock piece. And then I adhered that on top of a gold stitched circle piece to kind of layer those two together. That just gives a little bit of bling to an otherwise simple card. I'll add some clear liquid shimmer to that brown sentiment circle as well as to the fall bouquet stamped 
portions of my card. And that finishes this project. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Bye.